here in South Florida, we have seen over the last few years such a rapid increase in drug overdoses as a direct result of club drugs, be it taking the club drugs individually or mixing and combining the club drugs. I can't tell you how many times I've been walking in a rave club and I've seen kids on the floor going in convulsions or are suffering from serious dehydration or having mild heart attacks uh, in, these, in these clubs, in homes. Most of the kids think, you know, I, I take a tablet, it's a small little pill, how is this going to hurt me? Like one time I popped two in the night and I told them I was scared after I popped the second one, you know, and my heart started beating, real, real heart started sweating. One of the things that people don't think about with ecstasy is that it is a stimulant. It does, in fact, cause racing of the heart. It causes a dramatic rise in blood pressure. It's been said to cause strokes in some people. I know, I know people that right now, they're only like 16 years old and like they shake from it. Like they don't stop shaking. It also has the effect of raising the body temperature. That's why you hear reports of people having convulsions on ecstasy. What's actually happening is that their body temperature has gone so high, often in rays or other hot places, they actually have the convulsions associated with a fever. Well, you have no way to know if you're that person who has the terrible reaction. You keep telling yourself it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, that's when it does. Bus 53 responds at 45, Mansfield Avenue, 17 year old female, possible overdose. Post 53 is a group of high schoolers from 14 to 18 who provide 100% volunteer ambulance service 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. We respond to anything from a motor vehicle accident on the highway to an elderly emergency, a sports injury, or a drug overdose. The thrill of driving an ambulance at 17 years old is just amazing. I consider it a job even though it is volunteer. I really enjoy helping people. If you've already called 911 and your friend has overdosed on a drug, it's important to return to your friend immediately in case they've gone unconscious. If they're still conscious, you want to make sure that they're in an upright position so that when they vomit, they won't choke on their own vomit. Also, if they've gone unconscious, it's important to lay them on their side in what's called the recovery position so that the vomit will drain from their mouth. And also just monitor them to make sure that they have an open airway and they're breathing the whole time until the ambulance arrives. Well, if you're at a party with your friend and you're worried about calling 911 because you're afraid they'll get in trouble because they've had a little too much to drink or a few too many drugs, it's better to call 911 if they need to go to the hospital because you have to think of long-term effects. There may not be death involved, but any sort of brain damage or permanent injury could occur. Your friend will appreciate it if you save their life rather than them getting in trouble first. Please visit our website, inthemix.org, for more information on this and many other programs about critical teen issues. You'll also find resources, transcripts, discussion guides, video clips, how to get copies of our programs, and lots more. And we'd love to hear from you. You can email us your ideas and advice so we can share it with everyone. That's mail at inthemix.org. You can also visit our tween website, It's My Life, at pbs.org slash it's my life. It includes games, advice from teens and experts, resources, and lots more.